Be sure to check out my store for the stuff I use and templates at a low cost, and get my everything pack so you can have everything in my store at a reduced cost, less than $20 if you tweet it out. What's up guys, Quezzy here bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this displacement effect in Cinema 4D, and this is using a program called JS Placement, and then just using a displacer, um, uh, displacer effect on the object, and you can create stuff like this. Um, this was just created with a normal Cinema 4D Lightroom that I, or my Cinema 4D Lightroom. If you have like Octane and things like that, you can create like really nice looking versions of this. Um, but you, you can basically create things like circuits, uh, just like greeble effects, and uh, just different futuristic y looking things. Um, I'll pop up some examples on screen right now so you guys can see the various stuff that can be made with them. Um, but it's really cool. First thing you want to do is go to the description and download the program. It is called JS Placement. And you just want to open that up and you will see the um, these thumbnails at the bottom of your screen. And these are basically the various maps you can create. So for the one I used, it was basically one like this and uh, one of these dot ones as well. But let's just click the first one and see what we're working with. Um, you can see you get this sort of pop-up and you just want to click here for it to generate or use the R key. You have a few options here. Uh, down here you have invert. If you click that it just inverts the black and white. Um, then you have iterations and then you have object types. And object types, basically all these shapes are in this image. So uh, if I don't want these squares I just uncheck it and then generate and they'll go away. And you get something like that um, and so on and you have all these different styles here in the menu um, so placement 2 I'm not sure if I use this one or velvet I don't actually no I think I use this one if it wants to generate for me and then you can see for these settings you have uh, seamless rotate sprites flip sprites blend sprites um, but you also have a sprite set if you do a uh, crap pack I believe this is what I did for mine um, let's regenerate that. You can see it just kind of changes the little um, the sprites and the various images used. And I like this one. Um, so that's like one of the ones I use. But this is a pretty self-explanatory program. You can go through and look at all the different settings. Um, I'm not sure if this one's available yet. It says that it's being worked on, but there's a new va version of this program available, so you guys might be able to use that. I'm not sure. I need to install the new one. Here is uh, Velvet again. Um, that one's um, kind of ugly in my opinion, but you might be able to use that if you want uh, when it's seamless or uh, symmetrical. And then finally you have the dot grid, which I also used. Um, you can see it's mainly black with the white dots, so basically um, when I used that, the only part that really was affected was the dot spots and um, the black wasn't really visible. But uh, let's say you create one of these, so let me go back to 2 and let me go crap pack. Let me uh, bump the brightness down a little bit and then click to render. And then you just go to save and it saves it as an 8K file. So I've just been calling these Greeble. I'll just do six and save it. And there you go. It's a pretty big file for an image. Like I said, it's 8K, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, once you do that, you just want to come into Cinema 4D. So I'm going to close this and actually I'm going to open up a blank document. All right, so I'm in my Cinema 4D Lightroom. If you guys are interested in this, by the way, uh, you can buy it in my store for like a dollar. I'll put the link in the description. And I'm going to be using two materials from my v Material V6 pack. Again, if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but you guys can just use any Lightroom you want. If you have Octane, that's great. It probably turn out even better. And just use any metal materials. You could also just use any matte materials. I, I played around with some matte materials, and I thought they looked pretty cool any color materials. There's a lot of things you can do with this uh, to make it look pretty neat. I'm just going with the two metal uh, materials from my materials pack. One's just a brush metal and one's a rose gold. And first things first, I'm going to go to my camera and I'm going to rotate this to like 
uh, a side uh, like isometric view I guess um, so the rotation I'm gonna change the H to 45 and the P to negative 30 for now hit apply and I probably will be changing this just to line it up better uh, but then I'm gonna go and get a plane and then I'm gonna change the settings to 2000 by 2000 with a thousand segments a thousand width and height segments uh, now my camera seems to be way far let's move it there I do not know why it was so far away but whatever um, let's do I have to change this again real fast no, that's about right um, I also have my segments on and I'm gonna go and go to display and just do shading so I can see this a little better and then let's just get a cube and you can bring this cube up so the top um, so, or so the bottom touches the top of the plane or leave it um, kind of being split in half uh, for the size I went 500 each way and then did a thousand segments for each something like that and then you can see the camera angles a little wonky so I went a little higher and centered this a little bit and have to zoom in to avoid my light um, so somewhere like around here I think that's sort of the center that's pretty good but that's like the view I went for so obviously you can do whatever you'd like and then you can see the tops here of the plane like it's just empty space so I'm gonna go and just move this as far as I can so about there and then move this one over about there um, you can also make the plane bigger but I noticed it messed with the geometry of the displacer so I kind of left it and uh, cropped it in Photoshop um, to get rid of these little spaces and this little extra light uh, you guys can play around set this up however you want this is just how, how I did it now we want to do the displacement and there's two ways you could do it. You could do the displacement on the material itself. I've noticed that makes render times way longer. Um, this is kind of get mixed results sometimes. I didn't, wasn't having any luck with it, but I know uh, some people can really pull it off. I'm not great with the displacement of the materials. So I just used a deformer and that's how I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you go to the deformers here and just get a displacer, I'm going to start with the plane. And I'm going to move this above the cube for now because we're going to be duplicating this plane a few times. So for displacer, if you select it and go to shader, hit that drop down, go to load image. You want to load it, load your Greeble. I'm going to use Greeble 5, the one I created before. Um, so I'm going to click that. And you can see it's 8192 by 8192, 8K, it's huge. Um, really really detailed as well and we're gonna go ahead and open that and I'm just gonna click no for this and you can already see we have something on our plane it's kind of like a small circuit board looking thing now I noticed if I leave it like this some of the edges will look really wonky and just not look so good so you have to go to object and increase the height to get something that to look a little better so I noticed like 25 looks pretty decent. Um, you can pull off 25 usually, but I had to go to 100, or I didn't have to, but I went to 100 and I liked that, how deep that was and the depth and the various detail you got. I really like this. So I'm going with 100 on this one, and then I'm gonna duplicate the plane with the displacer, go to the displacer this one, and change that to a negative. So then it just kind of does reverse, and then you just want to add one material to the first plane and the other material to the second plane. Um, and actually, I'm going to flip these because I want the little more silver here. And that's what I want. So you can see it like intermixes both uh, of the colors, which looks pretty nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the rose gold plane or like whatever color you use and go to this placer. And I'm going to change the map to a different map and that's going to be the one with the circles uh, this one or all the dots open that no 
and it should pop up yeah you can see it just adds a little more detail throughout now obviously I have a lot of segments and stuff that are hidden so it's really gonna slow down your cinema 4d and whatnot um, it's kind of a bitch but whatever and now we just want to go ahead and do that to the cube as well so I'm gonna bring my cube up and let's just duplicate it twice and I'm gonna bring the rose gold to that one and that one while holding command and then bring the silver to the middle one and I accidentally brought the rose gold let's delete that and now we just got to duplicate the displacers so let's duplicate that one add it to the first cube and you can see my uh, computer is running way slower than before that's because of all the segments all the displacement all the math that it has to go through right now there we go now I noticed for the displacer having it at a hundred is like way too much so I had to bring it down to about 50 so I'm gonna change this all to 50 this one's negative 50 obviously and this one's 50 again and you can see it has not updated at all this took a few minutes for my cinema 4d to uh, catch up with what I was doing so I'm just gonna sit here for a minute and hopefully this will all update and boom there we go it's all updated and this is basically what I created um, over here if I just pull it up right there you can see I did one before this is what the first one looked like uh, my computer actually crashed while doing this so I lost the cinema 4d file so I had to like redo this whole thing the whole two-hour render and created this one it's basically the same just slightly moved um, and actually the colors reversed on the cube I actually like this color scheme better and maybe the displacement was a little less on this one and I actually like it a little less maybe let's try that let's bring it down to like 25 now I think 25 might be even better for this but yeah this will finish up an update and I'll try and render this one out again for you guys and post it at the end obviously I can't wait two hours to show you I'll just post the final picture and I'm actually gonna reverse the silver and gold on these cubes quick but anyways guys that's basically the tutorial hopefully you enjoyed if you did please drop a like um, if you guys want this file um, I also did like three different variations of this if you want any of those I'll be putting the download to them down in the description for my patreon uh, subscribers um, if you guys just want the download I will be putting just this file down as well uh, but if you want the extra ones you have to be a patreon member so if you're a patreon member you can check that out below um, also, I have a Photoshop version of it as well. That will be for Patreon members to download. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's it for downloads. My Lightroom and materials will be linked down below. The program will be linked down below. And all my social media, be sure to follow me on Twitter, follow my Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube for more tutorials like this. And hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.